Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at another executor for Roblox. And yes, this is currently working with the latest version of Bifron after yesterday's update. I do suggest watching the video to the very end so you don't miss any of the important steps. And let's get right into it. So first things first, we need to disable our antivirus before downloading the executor. So this is really important. Otherwise, you will not be able to use the executor. So if you're on Windows 11, come over to the star icon. And if you're on Windows 10, it's going to be in the bottom left corner. Go ahead and click that and search for virus and threat protection open that up and once that is open go down into manage settings and turn off real-time protection this is extremely important you will be able to turn this back on in a little while but for now you need to make sure this is off otherwise you will not be able to use the executor so go ahead and click this and it will give you a little prompt and go ahead and just click on yes and once that's turned off you can close out of that and go into the first link in the description it will take you to this website right here from here go ahead and click on the download button and it will open up this page right here um, if it asks you to do a step you can simply click this and just wait around 30 seconds to a minute and it will automatically continue once it continues it will take you to this page right here so simply go ahead and complete the steps and click unlock content and that will of course take you to the download page from here you can click download now and choose wherever you wish to download it i'm going to download it on my desktop so let's go ahead and click save and let's go back over to our desktop let's go ahead and double click that open it up and it will open up the download manager for us from here you can simply click next and it will give you a few offers if you do wish to take any of these it's completely up to you uh, for me i've already got a vpn so i'll just decline this i've also already got adobe so i'll click decline and i'll click decline again and there we go we've got our download download link right here so we can simply copy that now and open it in a new page just like that and when you do click enter it will allow you to download it so let's choose our desktop again now if for any reason it blocks the download despite having the antivirus off then simply go ahead and hold down ctrl and press j and that will open up your downloads page just like that and from here you can click keep dangerous file and click keep anyway you don't have to worry about any viruses or anything like that guys the file was completely safe um and of course i also want to mention this link will not work for everyone um you have to generate your own link by completing the steps above um and there we go so once you've got your download you can come back over to your desktop and simply go ahead and right click the file and click extract all and then click extract and that will create a new folder for you um, simply go ahead and close out that folder for now and you can delete those old two files right there and you've got your new folder which should have your valleys uh, launcher inside and before we open the actual executor there's one final step that we need to do so simply go ahead and go back into virus and threat protection go ahead and open that up and go into manage settings once again from here scroll down until you see add or remove exclusions go ahead and click that and click on add an exclusion and choose folder from here choose the destination wherever you have your new values folder created for me it's on my desktop so i'm going to select it just like that make sure you only single click it if you accidentally double clicked it just click back and make sure it's just selected just like that or it's highlighted and click select folder and it should be added into your exclusions right here and once you've done that you can go back and now if you wish to you can turn on your real-time protection again um, i'm just going to keep mine off because i work with a lot of executors but in your case if you wish to turn this on you can do that um, now we're ready to use the executor so let's go ahead and double click the actual launcher if it gives you this um, alert right here click on more info and click run anyway once you've done that it will open up the actual launcher for you it will ask you if you want to install values in this uh, directory so you can click yes and that should start downloading it for you so there we go it's going to take a couple of seconds to download all of the files and it's going to start the actual executor for you there we go it's logging me in because i've already logged into the actual executor previously but in your case if it's your first time using it it will ask you to log in or you can continue as a guest as well now let's actually explore the features of the actual executor so again this is one of my favorite executors to use um, and this is actually the only executor that i stick to um, using because it's completely keyless as well and it pretty much executes 99.9% .9 of the scripts um, so if i go down into settings now we in this tab right here you've got a few options so the themes aren't actually ready right now but they will be introduced very soon always on top if i check this um, as you can see even if i click any file on the background values will still always stay on top if I turn this off and I click something in the background, you can see it disappears in the background. Now, they've also got the language option and they will be introducing other languages very soon. Um, over on the Roblox tab, you've got FPS Unlocker, which you can toggle on. You've also got Kill Roblox, which will pretty much just close Roblox for you if it's frozen or anything. And if you're having any sort of attach issues, you can click this and that should fix it for you. 
Um, under the UI design, you've got save tabs. So if, for example, I've got any scripts in here that I want to keep, um, even after I close values and reopen it, you can simply leave on save tabs. Auto attach, as I would recommend leaving this on so you don't have to click attach every time you want to use the executor. Uh, notification on friend requests, so you can actually add friends, which is pretty cool. Um, and you can see when they're online, you can also leave them messages. And yeah, so that's pretty. That's a pretty unique feature that I haven't actually seen on any other executor before. Um, of course, you've also got the auto execute folder. You can open it just like that and you can put your scripts in here. Um, of course, for the actual FPS unlocker, they've got this set right here. Um, and if you want to add your own scripts, you can include them in there. There we go. Now, workspace, you can also open the folder here if you want to check out the workspace and whatever. So if you want to use save instance or anything like that. Account, this is just your account details right here. So if you want to you know, manage your account, add, add a different profile picture or anything like that. Or you can also log out from here. Um, now, those are all of the features for the actual executor. You can also, of course, search your own script, uh, search for any scripts in here. So if you want to search for an Arsenal script, um, let's go ahead and search for that. And there we go. You can see it gives me a bunch of scripts that I can use for Arsenal without even having to find my own script. Um, in my case, I've actually already got a script that I want to try out. So let's go ahead and go into the Microsoft Store. I do want to point out this will only work on the Microsoft Store. There is no current executor that works on the web store. Um, or the web version of roblox so there we go uh, let's go into roblox right now open that up and once it does open you can click attach so let's do that now um, also one thing i want to point out is when you do open roblox for the first time with valleys it will open up this window right here um, and simply go ahead and click here if it asks you to and it will say you may inject now so make sure you do this and you can close out of that it's not going to do it every time but it's just going to do it the first time you do it after launching your computer and now we're ready to click attach so let's go ahead and click on attach and it's saying attaching let's wait a couple of seconds and it says attach there we go so now we can go into any game so i'm just going to go into arsenal because i've already got a script for arsenal ready to use and here we go we just loaded into the game let's wait for the levels and everything to load as well there we go and let's click execute this script can take a couple of seconds to load as you can see it's working in the background let's minimize out of that and there we go. So you can see it's working completely fine after the new uh, update of Roblox yesterday. And yeah, I would definitely recommend this executor over a lot of the other executors. It's completely keyless. It can execute pretty much any script. And yeah, it's definitely my go-to executor. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. You can see it's working completely fine. Let's turn on some ESP features. And I will leave on some gameplay in the background as well. And yeah, hopefully you did enjoy the video, guys. If you do have any questions, you can join the Discord server in the description below. Um, and yeah, if you did like the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and as always, thanks for watching.